All right, I'm just going to run through really quickly this Aperture um, Timer Remote Cord. Uh, if you're wondering about this name, they actually carry this brand at Adorama as well. So, you know, it's fairly reputable. Um, this is the inner volometer or remote timer for the um, T2i 550D. So, go through the basic setup here, see what's in this box. Got a little instruction manual, packaged nicely. This is a uh, real heavy foam here. It's cut out really well so it doesn't shift around. Well, it comes with a battery. You don't have to buy yourself a battery. And let's get the battery in. Just pull out this bottom piece. So I hear that this is the same remote as um, some other ones out there. It may be rebranded using a, a different name, but technically the same type of remote. So let's see here. Okay, so uh, I just put the battery in. Um, make sure you read the instructions because I had it upside down originally. But the moment you put the battery in here, um, it powers on. And there's a screen here. You see that. Okay, I have the battery in. I have it plugged into the uh, 550D or the T2i. Um, it's actually really easy to set this up for a timer remote. Um, by just running through the instructions, it was actually really clear. So there's a menu option here. I don't know if you could see it, but it's the, uh, the middle one. If I hit mode, you'll see that top display change what I'm looking for is the middle one now this is for time-lapse or timer remote and the last one here I don't know if you can see it the last menu is for exposure now the exposure kind of works in sync with the timer remote right now it's set to zero zero and when I'm in the timer mode um, it's unlimited pictures if I set the exposure number to say 12, I believe that's going to take just 12 pictures in the timer mode. So for the exposure, you set it to zero, zero. I'm gonna switch the mode again, back to the intervalometer. I have it set for two seconds. Now this here is just a uh, shutter button. So you'll see that I can hold this halfway and it's just a regular shutter remote. So now that I'm in intervalometer mode, I'm using two seconds. If I wanted to change it to three, what I would do is press this dial in, increase that number to say three seconds, and press it back in a few times to set that. So now I'm, I'm using three seconds. And while I'm in the intervalometer mode, I just hit this middle button to start stop. It'll start counting down. I don't know if you can see the uh, unit flashing there, and it's actually counting down every three seconds. Well, that's about it to stop it. I'm just going to hit stop. Oops, there you go. There you go. That's kind of the quick run through of this Aperture timer remote. Uh, the number here is APTR1C, but I'll post some links on the blog about where you can get something like this. Again, uh, it's an Aperture brand, but um, you know they do carry this brand at Adorama for certain products, so you know, it's not all bad, um, even though it's coming from overseas. And uh, I'll be doing some more testing later with the um, OEM battery versus the other um, aftermarket batteries using this remote here. And uh, I'll show you that more later.